Hey folks, Cooley Dean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play European Universals 4 as the Netherlands. And unfortunately, as much as I thought we we're just going to roll over England, that appears to not be the case. Which is fine, because we actually have way more war targets than are reasonable. Um, the problem is, our war goal is Kent, which I shouldn't have done. In hindsight. Um, global reduced trade efficiency? No. We'll take the local revolt risk. We'll eat it. That's okay. Well, the world's starting to take shape, and it's a boring world. I think my idea is, um, potentially... No, hmm, what am I going to do? Maybe I should just bring these guys home and prepare for the doom drop. You know what, I will do that, actually. We'll just wait for those merchant men to come back. We'll hang out in Co for now. Yay! Alright, well, stay there. That's okay. Oh, there is another island to grab. Let's do that. I mean, at least we are accumulating some war score here and there, but uh, losing the battle and not having the actual war goal certainly sucks. Big question is war exhaustion, or enthusiasm and stuff, which is still pretty high, and there are a lot of colonies involved as well, so that is affecting the mix. Yeah, we have Ile France now. Good, we have Paris itself. Although I'm not sure we can take it in this war. There's a lot of war goal or war score required to pull all that off. Da -da -da. I mean, we're still making money hand over fist. Now we can do this, which is very good. We have another military leader. A mini transport fleet can land on Palawan. All right. Things are good. I still have maybe too many troops over here, but uh, there's still a risk of rebellion in some of these places. Uh, it's gotten pretty good, actually. Uh, we should take a look at our war exhaustion, which is fine. Nothing wrong there. How's our um, inflation is non-existent and dropping? Good. Okay. Take all y'all. Move you into Co. And we're going to wait for those transport ships. Oh, really? Reinforce that. It's too much, but that's okay. There's no such thing as too much overkill. Oh, right. I claimed them. That's right, but I didn't do anything about that. I'll just support them in other ways. I forgot about that. It's funny that it does follow up with stuff. I'm throwing a hell of a lot of ships into this combat. Like, definitely lost a few. Okay. Won that battle, finally. Eventually. Actually, that's, um... Almost at risk of being threatened by how many ships they've got there. No, Saskatchewan! Can't lose you. Oh, I can take these ships and detach the damaged ones. Wait. Detach damage is A, right. Um, I want to restart a siege of Cantabria there, just because we've got a siege going on. We need to accelerate that. We have a lot of troops over there. As soon as we do get those merchantmen, and uh, maybe, well... We still don't have a whole lot of mercs. Ah, give me points. Good stuff. We've got the full siege. Hanging out over here. No mercenaries. Maybe we need those ideas that just give us way more mercs, which I usually, like, never bother with. Oh, they have a hell of a navy all of a sudden. Everyone jump in over here. Or not. Hmm. Dock in the Highlands. Although, 
What's interesting about that, we do grab all these ships and now send them there, um, except potentially the transports, is we can pin that navy in. It caught me a little off guard. Do I still have an admiral? I do. Good. That's a lot of heavies, and they're British heavies, so they're going to be very, very, very good. And I was going to say, the other problem that we are now facing is grab all these, grab the lights, move like half the lights back over here and try to block this. Okay, good. We'll get there in time. We got to keep on this straight over here. Hey, excellent. I don't even need these dudes anymore. And we got a colonist back? No. Yes. Okay. Send you there. Is this still a colony? It is. Go ahead and invest in a, just a couple more dudes over here. That'll be fine. Heck, we can even take this uh, French uh, bit if we wanted to. Okay, yeah. We'll, we'll group everyone up, and then we'll figure out what we need to keep behind. Especially based on what's damaged. It does liberate some of the uh, ships over here, but that's okay. Lost the cape. Wow. Oh. Wow, the siege in Toledo is just not progressing. Okay, I'm going to merge all these guys up, so if we do get any rebellions, they'll at least be able to fight off a little bit. That'll be pretty good. Okay, we still have to figure out exactly how the hell we're going to do a proper invasion here. All right, merge you guys up. First, we're going to detach anyone damaged. And actually, we're just going to move you guys to Ulster. That way you can reinforce relatively quickly. Or maybe Connet that would be even easier. Next up, we've got 20 heavies. Oh, and there's a bunch of transports. You know what? Just We're just going to leave the heavies here, and that'll be good enough. Everyone else can go and start blockading the rest of Great Britain. Detach. Plus, give me a vision up and down the coast would also be very handy. Detach, and then send a handful more dudes down there. Okay, uh, we are starting to get all of our little dudes. Oh, we got tons of little dudes all over the place. I can take all y'all, move you to Co. And then I can take everything here. Here, move you there. There's going to be a lot of pop-ups. Oops. You remember, you can hold uh, control to filter it to just pick ships. Ah, we finally won that siege. Lovely. We're going to go into join up in Alentejo over here. People can attach there as well. Do we have a leader anywhere in anymore? Or is that the one who died? I think that might be the case. So, oh, well, we don't have one assigned. Yes. Okay, good. Because I'd rather not lose the siege. I'm on the Western Islands. People arriving in Co. There's going to be a lot of that. Initiate a battle over here, right before the siege would have been lost, or won, depending on your point of view. Good. Good. Still have lots of points, no hurry to do anything. Are these moving? Did I not give them the orders? Apparently I'd forgotten. Any mercs? Yeah. Boom. And boom. And we still have money. We can throw mercenaries at these guys for the rest of eternity. So it doesn't matter if I do a boat landing or a crossing a via straight. Either way, there's going to be a minus two penalty, which hurts a lot. Actually, I suppose we can turn that off. It doesn't matter. I want Kent mostly for the war score here. 
and also just to hurt uh, Great Britain. Got to inflict some pain. All right, 47 transports, and we have basically the exact same amount of stuff here, which is grand. Let's go ahead and have them land over here, and we'll just do a two-pronged assault across the strait. No, we can probably bait them out a little bit better than that. Oh, look at the move. Interesting. I wonder, actually, if now might be the time to grab this transport and get them to drop off over here. Will that get them, these guys to move finally? No one is moving to defend this. Oh, I've got no freaking leader in this army. Of course I don't. Still no one? That was a big goof up again. How mountainous is this? Marsh helps. Hmm. Yeah, because my plan is to go and pick up some more dudes over there. Uh, let's repay that loan. And that is excellent. And why don't you go over here and seize some stuff. And you can go and defend that. And you can go over there. hate that I forgot to put a leader on this guy. But it's so easy to do. And you can't do it at sea. On the Siege of Cordoba. Uh, let's go and park ourselves in there. Alright, we're in Northumberland. Grand. Let's go and pick up these dudes. At least we can do the dock thing now. That helps. Wait. It's weird. Uh, sorry, I'm just checking to see my transports. Yeah, I only got the one fleet. Okay. Won that siege. Good. I mean, and that's all, like, really cheap land to pick up, although we'll be massively overextended. It would be nice if we could just finish off France or something like that, you know, at the end of the video. Because, again, this series, this, this could literally be the final episode. Could be V1. Go and uh, group up. You guys get on the boat. And then you're going to come over to here. And you guys are going to get on that boat. And you're going to land over there. And we're going to we're gonna hire a new leader. Actually, we could probably just make our current ruler that to save some points. Oh, news! Didn't realize France actually had, like, a dude. What is this nonsense? We do have 40% war score. I mean, I think all the uh, sieges probably help. Mm. Maybe what we'll do then over here, just to make sure nothing really untoward starts to happen, is we'll hire uh, a couple more dudes. Eating into our mind power ever so slightly, but... Dems the brakes. Anywho, um, let us unload into uh, Yorkshire, perhaps, just so we don't get too heavily attritioned up. We have enough cannons. Even without a leader with siege, we are sieging this stuff very quickly, and we are going to be forcing uh, Great Britain to respond. At some point. All right, let's go. There's no straight crossing. And they should be behind technologically, so it should be all right. We should be able to kill them soon. Lost the siege of Saskatchewan. And then won a siege that actually matters. All right. Um, I think what I'm going to do over here is detach, send you up here. And you can go to Co as well. And we have one whole mercenary in the pool. Awesome. Why is this guy getting attritioned and the other guy is not? Oh, maybe winter, I guess. Yorkshire, done. Um, 
I may as well finish these sieges since I'm here. I could go and attack in Lothian, though. It's relatively flat. Actually, let's go through Cum yeah, Cumbria and then hit him in Lothian. I'll probably move away. And then, yeah, we'll go and stand on Kent. If he does move, then I'll be able to get over here, get a presence in the Highland, and first force a defensive battle uh, the day after. What? We'll split in half and do that. You're going to turn around? Yeah, good. What happened in Manila? I don't know. Stuff. Uh, there we go. That's under attack, but that doesn't really concern me. He's not even reinforcing. Hmm. Wow. Crushed. Crushed. All right. Let's wait until that siege finishes, and then we're going to send both groups down towards Kent. Actually, I suppose I could send this one to London right away. We could force these ships out, do that. It's his capital, which is pretty good. Gold rush! Inflation doesn't concern me. I have anti-inflation powers. Go on, finish the siege. It is a little bit annoying. Not very, but a little. You're still not moving, no. Good, good, good. Could just leave the cannons behind, I suppose. But it's nearly done. Just let it tick over, bring everyone down here. Do a proper assault. And these goofballs. Army refusing to, to move. All right, so at this point, I've got the siege. If I was able to declare without this coalition war, at this point, I'd be able to take half of England and half of France. Although, that would overextend me just a little. Just a little. All right, let's move to Wessex, and then we can do a two-pronger. And just slam Kent, which is the war goal. We have 45% without the war goal. And despite the fact that we've, like, lost a few big battles and got, like, stack wiped and lost eight points, like that sort of thing. You know, really miserable stuff. Oh, there's nothing left to blockade over here. Yeah. Interesting. I guess we'll move you there. And yeah, there's still the fleet in the highlands to sink. We'll definitely have to go and attack the highlands, even though it's into the mountains, just because winning a siege there will allow us to sink their entire navy. All right, we'll detach a minimal siege and attack and attack. We'll have massive numbers, plus a pretty good leader, if I recall correctly. All right, there we go. Battle is engaged. We're already winning. I mean, we have higher morale. We don't have that discipline, but, you know, we're doing okay. And then we'll have huge numbers added. So we've got the 3-5 guy going on. Horatio Lester is not bad. But when you've got this kind of bulk of numbers, we're going to do okay. I'll go ahead and merge these dudes up um, and march them up to Fife. Yeah, we'll get a lot of attrition along the way. Um, we'll probably end up doing a, uh, merge once we get here. Or consolidate, rather. We'll try to get them, um, reinforced as much as possible, and then we'll coalition whatever we have to do. Hey, Toledo, alright. We've got 100% on mainland Spain. Oh. Damn French peasants. Uh, we'll need a few more troops than we've got to actually take care of them. Do, 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 do. Attrition's not too bad so far. We're still nowhere close to being capped there. Good, because again, we will have to... Um, uh, we will have to... Oh! That's right. Where are you running to? Hopefully not the Highlands. Oh, that works out. Or does it? Yes, we will catch you there. Go ahead and send the other stack in there, just to give us as much muscle as possible. Um, I can't remember what I was saying. <laughs> just completely gone.
Oh, we could probably set up some blockades down here. Not to mention they do have a bit of a fleet. Hmm. Hmm. Really? Listen, Tunisia, I appreciate the, uh, the enthusiasm, but why would you land on someone else's unit? You're not helping. You're actually doing the opposite of helping. All right, attack the Highlands. What could possibly go wrong? Luckily, we do have two to one numbers. We have a great general. They have the 4-3 dude, which ain't bad. This is going to hurt. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be painful. We want to put in some sort of um, policy before we jump in? No, just the land attrition thing, which wouldn't be terrible, but... Oh, right. That stuff. Do we have another leader kicking around? No? Can we potentially grab one from somewhere? You! My king. Go ahead and do that. And then probably guard that site. Okay. Alright, let's check this battle. Uh, we are annihilating them. Oh, we only got a minus two. We only got hills, no mountains? Well, it's only 20% mountains. And what's our maneuver? It's only a two. And his is a zero. Oh, okay, alright. So yeah, we had a pretty good edge there. Um, now that I look at it. <laughs> Blam. Battle of the Highlands has been won. Got some natives attacking. That's okay. Uh, we're going to chase this guy down. Well, we'll make a pit stop there and then figure out where he's going to go. And just try to squash him. Um, what I actually want to do... Like, I want a button that allows us to just consolidate mercs. What I usually do is I detach the mercs and then consolidate them. Okay, yeah, right. We got attacked by natives there. Nothing that actually matters. Hmm. <laughs> Excellent. Oh yeah, I'm still sieging London as opposed to Kent. We don't quite have the numbers we need here for anything. May as well. Even cavalry. What the heck. I guess the one thing, if I do um, consolidate, it's mostly consolidating... Yeah, that's fine. Um, infantry. Which can lead you to kind of a weird situation. Well, let's go down to Yorkshire and then say where we have to go from there. Into Darby. Just try to chase these guys down and stack wipe them. The marches or march. Gloucester. Where are you stopping? You are stopping there. Okay, that should be pretty easy. Okay, they're still nowhere close to winning that siege. Good, good. We've got plenty of time. Still making money, despite all the money we're putting into mercs and reinforcements and all that kind of jazz. Bam. All right, I'm going to go and wait for that to finish processing. Select the army. Detach the mercenaries. Take them. Consolidate them. Group them up again. Uh, we're actually going to split you. And split and split. And then take our general and put him to help siege Kent. We'll take the 27 stack, why not, and go there. Let's just start sieging the whole of the south. And yeah, we got to do that. And before we win the Siege of the Highlands, which will take a while, especially since we don't have to siege that, we have to make sure we got tons of ships over here. Like massive, overwhelming forces um, off the Highland coast. Detach. 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 Actually, no. Keep the siege guy there. Finish it a little bit faster. Heck, I could even send some extra cannons over that way, but that's alright. Um, speaking of cannons, though. Let's go and send, like, a six-pack of cannons to the Highlands just to make them go a little bit faster. Various events. 
Hmm, split you. Detach. Alright, this is going to be a pretty complete siege. Pretty soon. How are we doing here? They're at a zero. Alright, we'll probably engage once the three stack get there. Um, throw in another mercs. We still have manpower, though. Yeah, actually, at this point, I did not expect us to have this much manpower still alive. That's why I was starting to spend mercs, like, really close to the beginning. Although, if I went and just, like, went up to my force limit in actual units, then certainly I'd be out of manpower at this point. But yeah, that's why I was using mercs proactively. I mean, I have the money for it. What the hell, right? May as well. What are we at? Minus 35, still lots of time. Uh, oh, we can move these ships over here as well. I'm just going to sink the entirety of the English Navy. It's going to be glorious. Detach, send some to Norfolk. Alright, let us go and engage. Hopefully, it'll work out. More cannons, we're getting plus four cannon bonus, good. Ugh. Kind of annoying. Oh, how'd the French thing go? Groovy. Excellent. Uh, let's merge up. We're going to leave uh, one stack behind to guard our um, colony. Being occupied by France doesn't matter. Oh, it went to Colombia. But this is a colony, so we can actually just steal it outright. Which is exactly what I'm looking to do. Lost the siege of little Karoo! Oh, Doesn't matter. Totally irrelevant. Oh, and then right, we did summon some more troops, and that all worked out. Good. Hardy Seamen! Now, you know when they came up with that, they were snickering like 12-year-olds, right? Losing some more sieges that don't matter. I mean, they don't even really count for war score. Eh, let's just move that. Breaking that siege is not really going to hurt. Yeah, as they reinforce, they'll often go above how many they need for an actual siege. La 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 la. Okay. What's my timer at? Hmm. Basically time. Well, we're not done yet. We have to finish this war. I don't think I'm going to move more troops over there. I think we're going to be fine as is. This naval battle is going to be amazingly great. Amazingly great. Stop the full siege. Oh, they still do the thing where they detach a zero fleet. Oh, that's interesting. On the Siege of London. You know, if I'm not going to transport anything over, I can go and help in the Siege of the Channel. Which will be great. Let's go ahead and move you that way. <sighs> Puny battles. Go and squash. Hulk smash. Dutch smash. Okay, well, I guess uh, we're going to bring this episode to an end. I will see you guys next time.